the same user signed into the Xbox, and then I'm on my home Wi-Fi. So I have a very natural way to interact with the Xbox experience there. So let's say I'm in my home office and my wife wants me to put a movie on for the kids. I can do that without getting out of my chair. Or if I happen to walk in and have the phone in my pocket, I don't have to go fetch the Xbox controllers to, to control what it's doing. Um, you'll see here, I could scroll down here and quick play one of the games or experiences that I've been doing. I could pan over here, see what's featured, or I can get a big search. So what I'm going to do here is search for a recent movie, Fast Five. Type it in, hit enter. How many of you saw Fast Five this summer? Only a few. I actually went, it was shockingly good. Really enjoyed it. So, and I, I, I mean that very genuinely. Uh, so here you can see I've done a search for Fast Five, and I get search results um, for lots of the movies in the Fast, the Fast and the Furious uh, franchise. In fact, now that I've watched one, I'll probably go watch some of the other ones. I'm going to choose Fast Five from the list, and what I get on my phone is an overview of the film. Down here are various services that I could choose that might have it available on the console. I'm going to choose the Zune uh, video service, and what you're going to see is it's telling my Xbox, please play Fast Five. I didn't have to fetch a controller, I didn't have to try to type with a controller. If I did have, if I had a connect, I could do that very naturally with voice, but if I wasn't in the same room, that wouldn't be as convenient as it would be to do with my phone. And then once the movie starts playing, the phone continues to be useful and interesting because the Xbox companion on the phone knows what the console is doing. So as Fast Five is playing here, the Xbox companion knows that's what experience I'm in, so it makes it really fast and easy for me to jump to a relevant part of the experience on the phone. So while I'm sitting here waiting for the credits to come up, to the opening credits to play, I can look at the cast and crew of this movie if I were interested in seeing what other films these people had done. I could touch them and browse around and have this whole experience. I could pan over and see other uh, content, whether that's music or TV shows or movie that are related to this and so on. Um, I can go back to my home screen here and keep looking around for other things. And the, the really interesting thing about the way the service is being implemented is that it's not just content that we Microsoft are building, but also content that other companies are providing as part of the experience. So as a last example, I could also search for Top Gear. Do we have Top Gear fans in the audience? Yes, of course we do. Um, so here's Top Gear. I can jump to the Top Gear UK, of course, and pick a season, go into a show, I can buy it, rent it, start it streaming on my Xbox. The whole point is, these screens are coming together, both in the familiarity of the experience you see from one to the other, as well as in the connection between the experience. So I'm going to push pause here to pause that. I'm oh, sorry.